You whose ancestors arrived bound in shackles and fear, you know you have our focus until the next Rwanda or Darfur or Katrina shocks and bewilders us. You do not stop singing amidst corruption and drug lords and barren lands and child traffickers. You have been forced to supplicate and to steal and to scream for what is rightfully yours as human images of a divine force. You have gone weary, suspicious of words of enduring support. You who have always lived on the edge until the edge fell beneath you. Pray for us. Pray as we self-medicate with your music, with your beaches, with your festive cornrows of hair, but refuse to welcome your poor, your scholars, who must sneak in upon our shores. Teach us to grieve, to weep, to ceaselessly break our hearts for those that we will never meet, for those outside of our tribe, for those who dare to remind us of the source of all. Haunt us with the starkness of your scrappy lives as we get buried with impermanent things. Help us to see how passivity, naivete, and flightiness has kept us from grown-up talk about covenants, about sticking together, about shared sacrifice. Inspire us through your elegant faces that expose African roots, your stoicism that reveals generations of hunger, and your chants that demand God's attention, demand our attention. Speak to us how we are not embarrassed when we dump surplus foods on your soil and force your farmers to flee their fields, only to live in cramped and now crushed homes in the capital. Illumine with us beyond suffering to see neighbors with vibrant faith, economy of words, and elegant postures. Blessed are you, though not from your suffering, not from your unanswered cries. Blessed are you for forcing us to shrink from our arrogance. Blessed are you for getting us on bended knee, for getting us to forget ourselves long enough to absorb others' mind-blowing pain. Clear us from our self-imposed rubble, from the piles of things that tempt us with efficiency and speed and amusement, and stifle us with isolation, dependency, and vanity. May you retrieve the sovereignty from which your ancestors boldly bled and proudly proclaimed and has since always been fleeting. And when your lyrical rhythms return, when the wreckage is finally cleared and the cameras go dark, remember us. Remember us as we awkwardly confront our own racial upheavals. And pray that this trembling creation points us to the fragility of our lives, prods us to bust out with compassion, and pierces us with holiness that refuses to be buried. <laughs>